Hi there, folks! Today, we are going to find out the last two participants of the Champions League quarterfinals. Give this video a like and write your predictions on who these teams will be in the comments down below. And while you're typing, we better proceed to start. Let's get the show on the pitch! Mason Mount has returned to Manchester United training after being sidelined since November 24th. He has a chance to take part in a clash against Liverpool in the FA Cup. Maurizio Sarri has resigned from his role as manager of Lazio. The Eagles suffered 40 feats in a row in all tournaments. This summer, Chelsea may acquire Valencia's first US goalkeeper, Georgi Mamardishvili, who has a 100 million euros release clause included in his contract. Modern future FC winger Ahmed Rafat suffered a cardiac arrest during a Premier League match in Egypt against Al Idihad. He was placed in the intensive care unit for an hour. Saudi Arabia's Al Hilal beat Al Idihad in the AFC Champions League quarterfinals that marked their 28th consecutive victory in all competitions. A world record. Barcelona will sell center backs Eric Garcia and Clement Langley, who are currently on loan at Girona and Aston Villa, in the upcoming summer. The legendary Rafael Benitez has been fired as Celta Vigo's manager after a 0 40 feet to Real Madrid. In case Manchester United decides to terminate the contract with Eric Ten Hag, the club will be forced to pay 10 million euros in compensation. Tottenham Hotspur are planning to compete with Liverpool and Arsenal for Wolverhampton Wanderers leader Pedro Neto. However, the Portuguese has no interest in joining Tottenham. I have won more than 30 titles. I've scored more than 500 goals. I don't miss football. Football misses me, Zlatan Ibrahimovic stated. PSG are looking forward to renewing their contract with the right-back Ashraf Hakimi in the near future. Manchester United are planning to bring in Real Sociedad leader Mikel Merino in the summer if they fail to win the race for Joao Neves. Miroslav Klose, the all-time World Cup top scorer, is being considered by the Lazio head coaching job. In fact, this was the last club in his professional football career. Inter Tomorrow we'll play against one of the best teams, but the time has come for our revenge. Diego Simeone shores. Manchester City are willing to pay more than 100 million euros for Shakhtar Donetsk star Georgi Sudakov. Liverpool and Barcelona are also interested in his services. Manchester United are set to make a 75 million pounds bid for Everton center back Jared Brentwaite. The Champions League draw next season will be completed by a computer. Clubs will be manually drawn initially, then a computer will take over and select their eight opponents for the 36-team league. Arsenal intend to acquire Brentford star Ivan Toni in the summer, and the Gunners are ready to send their forward Eddie Nketia as a replacement. The tie against Napoli became Mark and Ter Stegen's 100th career appearance in European competition. Former Chelsea and Brazil midfielder Oscar will leave Shanghai Port in November after a seven-year spell in the Chinese Super League. He could return to his boyhood club Internacional. Barcelona have abandoned the idea of signing Man United striker Mason Greenwood, who is currently on loan at Hetafe. Michael Edwards has been appointed as the new CEO of football for FSG, starting with Liverpool on June 1st. Due to the Brexit rules regarding underage players, the Premier League's biggest clubs will be unable to lend AC Milan wonder kit Francesco Camarda. PSG could take advantage of the situation. Manchester City will soon offer a new contract to Ederson's understudy Stefan Ortega. Talks between Caucus Camp and Atletico Madrid are progressing well, almost final stages. Ajax have announced the signing of a new contract with 18-year-old centre-back Jorel Hato. The contract is valid until June 2018. Jurgen Klopp has recommended that Liverpool sign Wolves left-back Ryan Aitnori in the summer. Real Madrid are seriously considering a loan move for Arda Guller to AC Milan due to concerns over the amount of minutes he gets after the arrival of Hendrik. Barca is the first team in history to start two players aged 17 or under in a Champions League knockout stage game. Lemin Yamal, 16 years, 243 days. Pau Kubasi, 17 years, 50 days. Juventus are planning to offer Atalanta Mattia Zule in a swap deal for essential midfielder to uncoup minors. Newcastle United are planning to rebuild their squad this summer, but are not looking to sack head coach Eddie Howe. The French Liga 1 has prohibited the pausing of matches during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan that allow Muslim players to break their fast. Kepa Arizabalaga will definitely leave Real Madrid in the summer and return to Chelsea. The Blues are gonna sell the goalkeeper with clubs from Saudi Arabia showing interest in the player. 
The third league side Saarbrücken have reached the German Cup semi-finals after beating Borussia Mönchengladbach 2-1. Prior to that, the team knocked out Eintracht Frankfurt and Bayern Munich, making it to the semis where they will face Kaiserslautern. Barcelona reached the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the first time since the 2019-20 season. Then they also passed Napoli, but was eliminated by Bayern Munich to 8. Barcelona stunned Napoli right at the very beginning of their second leg clash. Already in the 15th minute, Fermin Lapas was able to give his side the necessary advantage after a shot attempt from Rafinha. And two minutes later, the same Rafinha hit the post, while Joao Cancelo was the first to reach the ball and hit it to the near corner. Amir Rahmani revived the intrigue in the 30th minute, yet Barca kept the game in control, which resulted in Robert Lewandowski scoring in the 83rd minute after an attempted shot from Sergio Roberto. Arsenal and Porto became the first teams in this season's Champions League to find out who was stronger in a penalty shootout. The only goal in regular time in the 41st minute was delivered by Belgian Leandro Trossard, who successfully converted Martin Odegaard's pass. Then David Raya became Arsenal's goalkeeper in the penalty shootout, saving shots from Galeno and Wendell. The Gunners reached the Champions League quarterfinals for the first time in 14 years. Representatives of the Saudi Arabian Pro League are preparing an insane offer for Manchester City, which could be worth 120 million euros. It could be the most expensive departure transfer in Man City's history, which makes the offer extremely tempting for the citizens. The matter is that the Bruyne's contract expires in the summer of 2025, and the English champions are aware that they may not have another opportunity to sell the Belgian for a bigger price. Still, De Bruyne himself is determined not only to stay at Man City for the next campaign, but also to extend his deal with the club. Barcelona centre-back Gilles Conde is likely to leave the club next summer. According to the source, two of the biggest Premier League clubs, Chelsea and Manchester United, are keen on signing the French player. Both are able to meet the financial requirements of Barcelona, who are set to sell Conde for at least 80 million euros. Earlier on, it was reported that Conde is unhappy with how Xavi uses him at right-back position, which is not his preferred role. Barcelona may be selling Gilles in order to solve the problems with the FFP and be able to bolster the squad with other footballers this summer. The legendary Messi has become the face of the Saudi brand Sayar. The company specializes in clothing and luxury goods, including exclusive fragrances for men. The Inter-Miami striker has been featured in an advertisement in which he poses in traditional Arabian attire. Interestingly enough, the ad with Messi was released almost immediately after Ronaldo and Al Nasser lost to Al Ain in a penalty shootout in the AFC Champions League quarterfinals. Looks like Sayar has decided to mock the Portuguese football superstar on purpose. Kylian Mbappe's number at Real Madrid has been revealed. The PSG star has decided that he wants to wear the number 9 shirt at his new club. This season, no one is playing under the number 9 at Real Madrid, and earlier on, throughout the past 12 years, it belonged to the legendary Karim Benzema. This serves as Mbappe's main motivation since he greatly admired the way Karim represented Los Blancos. Before Benzema, the number 9 jersey was worn by Cristiano Ronaldo for Real Madrid during one season, and before that, it belonged to the Brazilian Ronaldo, Davor Schuker, Luis Enrique, as well as Alfredo Di Stefano. No doubts, Mbappe wants to be on the par with all these legends. After the victory over Napoli, Barcelona vice president Rafa Juste claimed that he would like to see Xavi staying in charge of the team. Rafa Juste, he knows what I'm thinking. Let's see what happens. I really like Xavi. Do you want him to stay? Rafa Juste, I really like Xavi, but I will not insist. We would like to remind you that after the 3-5 defeat against Villarreal, Xavi announced that he would leave the Catlans at the end of the season. Guys, be sure to check out the videos from our other projects as well.